Um, a UAV is an unmanned aerial vehicle. Uh, other definitions talking the same thing are UASs, unmanned aerial systems. We use the, uh, the unmanned aerial vehicles. Um, they are a, a hand takeoff, but we're able to, um, to launch these and then they fly over the field and inside the uh, UAV, we have special types of cameras and sensors that are, are recording different types of sunlight reflections from the plant. Um, we see straight down onto the crop. We fly at two different heights. We fly at 200 foot and 400 foot uh, based off of what analysis we're trying to do from that flight. And at 200 foot, we're, we're measuring gaps in lost plants and counting plant stand out there. And then when we go back to 400 foot, we're measuring more of crop health and um, Eventually, I think the technologies are going to take us into nitrogen management, maybe even uh, pest and leaf disease management as well, and help us be able to respond quicker. Um, one thing about scouting a field, I can go out there and spend an hour of my time scouting a field and may only get through a little small portion of the field and try to make a general assessment of the entire field. When we're able to scout with the UAV, we are getting a full assessment of the entire field from row one to the last row in the cornfield. This is a 200 foot. If you look close, you can see that there are uh, plants down there, but very hard to see. And this is how the computer vision of the Vireo is going to see the plants. It's actually assigning um, where there is leaf coverage and where there's not. We um, were then able to bring in multiple layers of information, whether it be soil types, uh, previous yield histories, fertility maps, um, drainage maps, whatever it may be, and we can stack these layers together and then lay our imagery um, that's captured with the UAV over the top. So really what we're getting um, is a very transparent view. We can, we can layer all of our layers of information together through this software and be able to, to see through the layers and, and understand how last year's yield map might be affecting this year's planting map or might be affecting this year's crop health. So Phil up here is gonna set us up a flight plan, but uh, this would be a field that we were, uh, that we're going to do a flight on. Um, this is a 160 acre field and if we were to fly this 160 acre field uh, we'd be capturing almost um, almost 9,000 images. Again? So once we launch it it's going to climb to its altitude and there it's going to get reassociated with its satellites and everything else, the wind speeds, and then from there we'll send it into navigation.